Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to kick off my return to booktube for good this time with my top 10 books to read in 2024. I'm a little late to jump on the bandwagon for this because it is almost the end of January at this point, but I figured better late than never. So this year my goal is to read quite a wide variety of books from fantasy and sci-fi to horror and contemporary. I want to read a little bit of everything. A lot of these books you guys might have seen on previous years lists like this, um, but I will read them in 2024. I am promising you that now. Um, and let me know if you guys have read any of these books, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would love to hear, but without me rambling on any further, let's jump right in and get started. The first book I would really love to read in 2024 is one that I've been hearing so much about from here on booktube, my friends here on booktube, on Instagram, on booktalk, on everything, and that is Fourth Link by Rebecca Yaros. I have heard so many of my bookish friends talk about this book over the year, and I am very curious. I've heard it compared to Agatar, which is you know, my favorite book series of all time. And that's all I really know. I know it has to do with dragons as well. So and I think there's two books. In, I think it's a duology. I know at least those first two books are out right now. So it was compared to Akatar and has dragons. It sounds right up my alley. So I'm very interested to check it out. We have a couple of sequels. The first one of those is Death Note Volume 2. This is a manga series I started a couple years ago. I am definitely going to need to reread the first installment before I dive into this one. I really enjoyed the first installment though. I think it was either my favorite book of that year or one of my favorite books. So definitely interested to continue on with the series. It's a horror a manga series. It's kind of hard to explain, um, but it was my really first introduction to manga. I really liked it and I am definitely interested to continue on with the series. Another sequel we have on this list is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. This is book two in the Crescent City series. Again, I read the first book in the series a couple of years ago. I believe that was my favorite book of that year. Uh, I think it was actually the same year I read Death Note Volume 1. And you guys know, if you don't know, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. I am a huge Sarah J. Mass fan. Uh, Akatar is my favorite series of all time. I love Throne of Glass. I loved the first book in the series. It is her first venture into adult fantasy and it's a revenge story with Fae and fallen angels. I loved the first book. Yes, they are gigantic. And the third installment is coming out here, I think in a couple of weeks when I'm filming this video. I am so excited to dive back in this world. Again, I'm probably going to have to reread the first volume before I dive into the second one, but I want to binge the the uh, three books that are going to be out at some point this year, uh, definitely at some point this year. Next up, we have a book to classic, and that is The Selection by Kiara Kaz. I heard about this book when I first started watching booktube before I even started my channel back in like 2014, and I believe... There was a lot of hype around this. I know it's dystopian. I know it's kind of like The Bachelor, which I've never watched, but I was reminiscing on, again, old booktube videos, and somebody had read this or reread it recently, and it kind of piqued my interest, so I figured I'd give it a try. And again, this is a completed series, so if I like this well enough, I might read the entire series this year. We have Book of Night by Holly Black. This one I picked up, again, I think when it came out a couple of years ago. I really don't know much about it. I think it has to do with Faye. Um, I could be completely wrong, so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. I read a few of Holly Black's books in the past. I read The Cruel Prince. Uh, I really liked it at the time. I haven't continued on with that series. But I read some of her other work recently and did really enjoy it. And I also believe this is her first true venture into adult. I could be, again, completely wrong. But look at this cover, guys. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And then the sprayed edges on the side. Oh, that's right up my alley. Again, if it's dark fantasy with Faye, then I'm really going to enjoy it. We have a book that I have started multiple times. And I have just never got around to finishing. And that is An Ember of the Ashes by Salma Tahir. I have started this at least three times. It's not because I'm not liking it. I really am. It's just because I either run out of time, run out of time on my audiobook, because I tried listening to this on audio, or just completely forgotten about it. Again, I have really been liking this. It is a dystopian fantasy, kind of borderline between the two of those. And... 
you know, it was a Roman Empire kind of setting. It was, I really was enjoying this, guys. And I've talked about this in videos before. I really need to get around to finishing this because I think I got at least halfway through the f each time I started and tried to finish it and just stopped. And I don't know why. I need to get back to this because I was loving it. We have Tales in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. Again, another book that I have started, I believe, in the past and just never got around to finishing this one. A lot of here people here on booktube love including my friend sarah over at sarah's nightstand she talks about this all the time and i've heard nothing but fantastic things about it for what i do remember reading in the past i really liked so it's not the book's fault it's just me it's adult fantasy with magical kids who are supposed to be like the most dangerous children in the world with the gentleman who's tasked to take care of them Again, I was really liking what I was reading. I just don't know why I stopped, so we need to get back into this. The rest of the sequels on here is Sword of Destiny by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the second book of the Witcher series. Again, I read the first book in the series a few years ago. Really enjoyed it. At the time, I was obsessed with it. It was like the first book I read that year and would not stop talking about it. So I really need to dive back in. This is the first two books in the series, if you guys aren't familiar, are short stories. And then the third book on are like the actual series. So this is all, I believe, like background information on Geralt the Witcher, the main character of the story. Again, love the first installment in this. Need to get back into the world. The last book on my top 10 is definitely one you guys have seen on these type of lists in the past. And that is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. This book is probably the scariest book on my show, scariest book on my TBR. I am so intimidated by this. Not because of the size of it. It's not that bad. I read longer. And just the way it is formatted. Because it's formatted very weird. Hopefully I'm not showing any spoilers on this. Um, but I've heard very mixed things about it. But a lot of my favorite booktubers who read a lot of horror have really enjoyed it in the past few years. So maybe I'll do some sort of read-along or read-a-thon for this. If anybody is interested, let me know. Uh, maybe we'll do that later this year, maybe like July, August, when I have some more time on my hands. But I need to get this read, and I'm going to push through. It's going to happen this year, guys. It will happen. That's all I have for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have read any of these books what your thoughts are. If anybody is interested in doing a read-along for House of Leaves, I would love to know. And let me know how you guys have been. I haven't talked to you guys in almost a year, so let me know what's been new with you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I will be getting back to my normally scheduled content here soon, so stay tuned for more videos just like this and more. If you guys would like to follow me on any social media, all the links to those are down in the description box below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!